Say R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle. The late great Nipsey Hussle passed away one year ago. This is the anniversary of his death. And I want to let the entire world know that he is gone, but not forgotten. So the link for this article will be in the description. And it's like my people choose not to learn and they are dying because of lack of knowledge. Now, it's no secret that uh, on March 31st, 2019, after Hustle calmly told Holder he was gaining a reputation as a snitch, the 29-year-old Holder shot and killed a 33-year-old Nipsey Hustle, according to the police, prosecutors, and witness. Now, Holder has pleaded not guilty, and we are waiting for that trial to begin. Uh, Nip was on a roll before that. Uh, he was nominated for a Grammy for the best rap album. He had also changed his life. He was out here promoting posit positive uh, thinking, positive things. Uh, he's Nip, Nip's the other is the reason a lot of these rappers are now talking about giving back to the communities because that's what he was doing prior to his death. Now, um, my black people, my people, seem to have not learned anything from the death of Nipsey Hussle because they are still acting like fools and they're still acting like idiots. Um, FYI, Young Chop, um, 21 Savage, uh, all this trolling, these niggas acting fake as shit, you know, just to get a rep or all about clout. You know what I mean? And it's, you can't talk shit about people and don't expect repercussions. Um, gang ties go very deep out here in Cali. These niggas is fake claiming. I mean, I it seems to have been escalated, to be honest, since Nipsey's passing. Uh, and it's something that I knew this brother, he wouldn't have wanted this to continue on. Uh, we have seen... More people die after Nipsey Hussle uh, was murdered, to be honest. Uh, Pop Smoke, you know, uh, straight got murdered or assassinated. And it, and the shit just don't stop. It seems like the only life that black men uh, that come up in this uh, rap genre or uh, who want to be part of the hip-hop community they struggle so hard to find an identity and they don't know who they are so they just follow suit and protocol and say i'm gonna say i'm a gangster and none of, a lot of these niggas don't have no g in them whatsoever don't even know what it takes to be a gangster never killed anybody and they claim sets that they know nothing about and soon as shit pops off and niggas uh you know tell them to run that you know, run that chain, run that drip you got on, and these niggas is, is dead. You find them dead, or they they folding like bitches. So this is just not good, you know, to say a year after Nipsey Hussle's death that shit has got worse, you know. It's just <laughs> Juice World, uh, he's passed as well. Like, we still have rappers, you know, even if they're not dying due to murder, they're... Uh, you know, these drugs and shit like niggas is just not learning that uh, life is too short and it's too valuable. And the, the trolling social media is just social media. I said it like a hundred times and I'll say it again. Social media will be the cause of a lot of people to die because they do anything for likes. They do anything for likes, you know, do anything for views. They would do anything, get on here, troll, uh, and just say anything, uh, snitch on social media. Why would you get on a social media platform and tell the entire world something that you did <laughs> that was illegal? Niggas have to be the dumbest motherfuckers of all time, bruh. Like, I, there's no way in hell I'm going to do something and, and tell somebody on uh, social media I did it. How stupid is are, are these motherfuckers man but uh nipsey hustle really really had uh started a great trend before he passed he was talking about giving back to the community um 
changed his whole life. Why can't we have more people like that? Why you can't follow suit? Why you can't um, go and change your life? You know, you don't have to try to be like somebody else. Most of these niggas don't know who they are. They are lost. They have no identity. So they follow suit. You know, you have to ask yourself uh, at the end of the day, are you a wave chaser? You chase the latest, greatest wave just because everybody else on it. And to put that in simple terms, you a dick rider. You don't want to be who you're chosen to be. You're being whatever somebody else wants you to be, which makes you fake as fuck and you are not real. You know, get amongst a positive group of people. Um, if you want to follow somebody, follow somebody that tried to do some good. Nipsey Hussle, believe it or not, is a great role model. Once you sit and look at what the brother did, you know, he came from the streets right around the corner. Slauson, Crenshaw, California, gang banging, got out of that life, said, I'm not going to do this no more. You know, I'm going to try to make something positive out of this. I'm going to get money and I'm going to give back to the community. I'm going to help give jobs to people. Tell this brother, get off of drugs. You know, don't go out here, bruh, starting shit with people trying to get a name or do anything for this clout or this fake ass social media shit just for likes or views. Uh, you end up dead and then you will be seeing a lot of these funerals, man. Uh, but R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle and let's pray and hope that Eric Holder gets his fate in God's name. Like this video, leave your comments and subscribe.